you know what? Some things you just got to, you, you, you know, it's really hard to believe, but you just got to go with it. You got to go with it. Um, Damn. I'm not feeling good about this story right here at all. At all. And, um, this is crazy. Um, this is not a good story at all. Anyway, the dog whisperer, Caesar Milan, Sue, amid accusations, his pit bull mauled gymnast and derailed her career after it killed Queen Latifah's dog. <sighs> Caesar Milan, 52, is being sued by a rising gymnast named Lydia Mattis, who claimed his pit bull junior bit her while she visited her mother who works for him. She claims the dog bit her several times on her legs, forcing her to stop competing and derailing her college recruitment. Mattis also alleges that the dog had a pattern of violence and previously killed a dog owned by Queen Latifah. She says that Milan tried to cover up the killing and told Latifa that her dog was hit by a car. What the? What the? Junior? I know Junior dead now. Oh, my God. Did they have to put him down? Listen. As a dog lover, <coughs> as a dog owner, as a uh, person who breeds dogs, um, I think, you know, when people get angry when they, when you say things like, the pit bull just has triggers. I mean, it's a game dog. Um, and that's one of the reasons I personally don't trust it. I tell a lot of people, in my town where I live, nobody even knew what a pit bull was until my brother, well, he's not here no more, uh, brought him here from Florida. And that was way back in the 60s like in the mid 60s and um nobody knew what the hell those dogs were okay in fact um he ran he caught a case because they were pitting and they were fighting the dogs and he had his basement set up as a kennel and um you know things it was it was it was i had never seen nothing like that and of course nobody else had in milwaukee and when the authorities came in on him and his dog fighting ring, I mean, it was all over the news. I remember people, it was all in the newspaper. I remember people saying, somebody should pit him and the, them all in the cage and, you know, let lions eat them or something to that effect. It was really, it was really kind of funny. And actually, believe it or not, I second day emotion because I don't like dog fights at all. And I'm not a person that advocates uh, dog fighting. I advocate you need a good dog that if somebody try to come into your house, the first line of defense they have to get through is your dog. Okay? That's what I advocate. And that's why I like big breeds. For no other reason. But I don't trust the pit bull because of the game. Because the dog has been bred throughout the centuries as a gamer. I mean, that's what it does. So you never know what to trigger it. And I like Junior. Um, he was a pretty good blue dog. Anyway, this gymnast that's suing her 
um, says again that he attacked her for no reason when she visited an office building owned by him. The athlete claims not only did the dog bite her, it has a it had a pattern of violence. Now this is the little junior <laughs> that that was on all the shows that that was mocking. I mean that um showed other dogs how to have even temperament. According to so he must have snapped when he saw this girl for some reason. I don't know. According to Master's filing, she was visiting her mother who was an employee of, of Milan's and at the office building uh, that she worked. She, Junior, was allegedly walking around the building, unleashed and without a handler when he attacked her, biting her several times on her legs, including her calves. The excruciating pain caused by her injuries derailed her hopes for ever being a gymnast and recruited to, the, to compete for the University of Pennsylvania. Lord have mercy. Mathis attorneys referred to her as the uh, star gymnast and not that she performed at level 10, which is the highest level of competition um, at a USA Gymnast Junior Olympics program. Uh, Lord have mercy. But she was good. After the alleged attack, she was in too much pain to continue competing. Mattis and her attorneys Omar Kurushi and Brian Asman claimed that they're filing at their filing that Milan allowed the dog to regularly be unleashed and unsupervised despite his violent incidents. She alleges that Junior had already bitten multiple people and attacked several dogs including a deadly incident with a pooch owned by Queen Latifah. Mathis claimed that Latifah had taken her two dogs to Milan's Dog Psychology Center in Santa Clarita for training. While they were there, Milan's pit bull allegedly attacked and killed one of the dogs. But instead of fessing up, Mathis claims that the celebrity dog expert instructed his employees to tell the actress that her dog had been hit by a car. Damn. Oh my God. Caesar, this gotta this is not a good look for you, dude. If this happened. Mathis is suing Milan for unspecified damages for leaving her wounded and disfigured. She claims that the damage is ongoing and she continues to suffer from ongoing physical pain and emotional distress. In his answer to the lawsuit, Milan contends that she took on the risk of being beaten and knew what the potential consequences could be. He also accuses the gymnast of negligence, though the answer doesn't spell out his reasoning for the claim. Milan, who was born in Mexico, illegally crossed the border in, uh, to the United States when he was 21, though he later became an American citizen in 2009. He first worked in the U.S. as a dog groomer before starting his own training academy. One of his earliest clients, Jada Pinkett Smith, set Milan up with a tutor, and he credits her for helping him learn English. After accruing a benefit of celebrity clients, Milan starred on a reality t TV series, The Dog Whisperer, which demonstrated his use of calm, assertive energy to train other dogs. Although his pit bull junior is accused of being very violent in this lawsuit, the dog was used, of course, I watch Caesar all the time, the dog was uh, used to help Milan train other pups, like Daddy, the reality star announced uh, that Junior had died on July 21st, 2021 in a video posted to YouTube. Man, I hope <laughs> that that's not true. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Mm-mm. Oh, Lord. 
not a good look. Not a good look at all. But like I said before, y'all, and I don't describe, I like dogs. I don't, I've had all breeds. But that is, I think I've had one pit bull who was a great dog. And that was the only one I would ever have owned. And that was not um, something that um, I, I wanted to repeat. Just because I know that history. And at the time, um, that was uh, the only uh, uh, dog that was available to me. But to be honest with you, Woo! I really feel bad um, for everybody concerned again because uh, wow, that's not good. I don't know what Queen Latifah uh, says. She hasn't reached out, um, but that is sick. If that if he did that, that's some cold blooded shit. <laughs> that's all I can say. Anyway, with that being said, <laughs> what a, oh, God, I'll see you in the next video.